Hello everyone. Today we are back in not OMC2. We're doing a little tutorial today. Basically, I've had lots of comments saying how do you make custom junctions and that, and I am still learning, but I can I can do them. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do them before I go on holiday. Just get them done, and then and then the Edward Fowler show can stop my other on Fowler as well. No, I ju I just thought I wanted to do them t today. Um, right. So before you do anything, you need to download obviously SDK. Most of you probably know what where to download this. If uh, I'll put the link to this website in the description, it is on the Omzi Bus Simulator forum thing. Um, and you need to download this one that says Omzi One Plus Two SDK Dash Tools. This one here. This is the correct one. If you download on the uh, SDK, it, I don't know what comes up because I didn't download that, and I downloaded this one and it works fine with me. So, yeah. Right. So once you've got it, you then want to go into your downloads and open it up. If I can ever find it, um, I saw it then. And I can't think where I saw it now. Um, where the hell is that gun? It's down here, right. So this folder has everything in. Don't take anything out of this folder. All you need to do is copy it and put it in OMSI. I already have it in OMSI. But as you can see, I didn't put them in OMSI at first. So if I load this one, which is the right one for junctions, and then click load, it get this error. You've got to keep it in the folder with all the files. So just put a folder in OMSI, it won't do any harm. Right. So anyway, before before you do anything else after that, you need to get a template, basically. Like a blank one. Just so you can keep going back to that. I recommend you using one of IMX's. Um go to Right, as well you need a folder, so just call just call the folder. I call mine my map name and then I don't create a shortcut. Um the map name and then junctions. So just call I'll just put map name junk I spelled that wrong. And then that like that. That's uh, that's all I call it, obviously, the actual map name, but, you know, that's all you need to put. And then, basically, go to UKDT. This is how you get a, a basic cube, anyway. You can make your own in Blender and stuff, but I just nicked one of IMX's. IMX, I'm sorry if you're watching, but... I do. I'm going to think where it is now. Um, BOTW. In fact, use... Yeah, BRCW in this junction, and you just want a basic one, so think of the smallest one you can. I'm just going to go for this one because I, I, can't, I honestly can't remember. Right, so what we're going to do then is we're going to so th keep that in your head 2.8 Y till. Right. Then load SDK like this. Then click load. As you can see, there's all my jumps. I don't put them in folders. You can put them in folders if you want, but I don't. It's the same process, but I just leave that folders. Um, 2.8 roads. No, that's not right. 2.8 English junctions. 2.8 whitetail and nick that. Right. So once you've loaded that up. I'm trying to think where this is. Uh, why till yes, I remember where this is. No, I don't. Oh, I don't know. Oh no. Yeah, this is that. Yeah, I know it is. Basically, all you need to do is just click on all the junctions and delete them. Delete, press delete at path, delete at path, delete at path, and just delete them all like that. And then basically, you've got your cube. So then, what you do, you just click save. No, you see what I've done there? Right, and gone. This has gone horrifically wrong, I've just realised.
Right, it's alright, I'll have to install it again. What are you supposed to do? I'll, I'll do it for you anyway. You got, you've got to do scenery objects, and then the one you've just picked, so UKDT, uh, BOTW, 2.8 roads, not 2.8 roads, English junctions, and then just copy that folder. <coughs> copy that folder, and put it in put it in your name in your um junctions like that um and you need the model and texture as well forgot about them and basically what I've done what you can do is just load Oh, actually, I was going to say load a backup, but you can't do that, Ooh, actually. I put dot .sco at the end. There we go, right. If you put S dot .sco at the end, it'll work. And then, yeah. Oh, that's the wrong junction. Eh? I'm trying to work out where that's from. Right, anyway, what matters is, right, because I have messed this up a lot, basically what you do is just go to your downloads again, go to... Um, BOTW 2.8 I might have to extract it or is it already extracted <laughs> 2.8 sorry I know this is fast I weren't meant to do this but I did it wrong as usual come on search that V2.8 Right, we're gonna extract it again then. Um was the two point eight gone now? There. Right, extract that. <laughs> this was more polite than I intended it to be, but I just have to do this because I need to put that um Put that junction back on, there'll be an error on the map. <laughs> and I'd rather not have an error on the map, to be honest. I've probably already got this extracted somewhere, but I've just not found it. It's there as well. Oh, is that the one that's being extracted right now? Scenery objects. Yeah, that's the one that's being extracted right now. As soon as we get UKDT, BOTW, 2. Point, wait, we don't want 2. Point, in this junctions, 2.8 Whitehill. And just copy all of that and put it. Right, you can also rename these if you want but you don't have to, I'm not going to rename it just because it's a tutorial. In fact, I will rename this one because, um, if I can find it, rename, and this will be called Tem. I recommend you do that for every single, when you do a template, you and then you can, you know, just use the template. Oh, for God's sake. Right, it don't matter. Um, wait, is this from the downloads or is this from... Oh, I'm so confused <laughs> right now. Right, I'm gone. No.
Oh no. Right, I don't I am quite confused what's happening right now, but we're gonna go with it anyway. Right, so basically you've got SDK and you've got your cube. So now you need to go into the OMSI editor. So I'm just going to load a new map up, if I've got a new map. If not, I'll just use a map. Are you a new map or are you being worked on? Again. I have no idea. I have quite a few of new maps. No, you're a new map. Right, there we go. So, you're basically, what I, this is how I build my jokes. You don't have to do it exactly like this. This bit's not necessary. So I'm just gonna go with a simple junction. So basically, I, would, I I go for pavements first. Put the pavements in, then you can plan out everything else. So you're gonna watch me try to work out how to do a junction now, aren't you? Oh, this is fun. Um. So I want for a start off. I want a road to come onto it, obviously. So we're gonna go for a eight meter. one eight meter like that there we go so it's a bit bigger Um, you can work with it a bit more I don't know if that'll be big enough actually but we'll go with it Um, so we need to look for a start off where the spleen paths are so, there. so what I would recommend for that is putting starting off stick some chevrons in right so load roadhog uh, markings um, I don't remember which ones it is. I think it's the. I think it's these ones. Yeah, and they fit just nicely in there like that. You can make them yourself, but I normally just use the pre-built ones if I can get away with it. Alright, So anyway, so you've got spleen pass going up and down. Then you got the chevrons running down the middle. <laughs> This is a basic road so far. You don't have to build it like this. I'm just using this for a, t um, a example. Right. So next, you want pavements. So we're going to do a four-way crossroad anyway. So we want um, pavement low because low is low is um, con low is like tarmac pedestrian pavements, and you want one side. If you can get one with with pedestrian paths on, get it. But sometimes it doesn't always work. Let's have a look. See what this one with pedestrian paths on, because it'll be easy to line up then. Um, pavement low. Neither pedestrian. I just one side pedestrian. That's the one I want. Right, can you make that you? Then if you hold control on your key on your keyboard it'll snap it together and then they'll be together perfectly so this lane I want this lane I want it to be two lanes I want a turning right lane and a left and straight on lane I don't want a, yeah 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 um, so I want this spleen spline whatever you want to call it um, for a start off I want. It is quite confusing to start, and I get confused. Once you've got the basic um, layout, you're fine. If I go to about 30, that should be big enough. And then basically, I want. I do my lanes as a width of 4. So if you load. You just type in helper. These are my IMX. So if you have IMX pack, if you have Bust of the West Country, you'll have these. And I don't use the yellow one. So basically, that's not right. Basically, I want. Uh, they're not the actual ones. I use the blue and yellow. So if I just load. Um, helper again. Um, just load normal helper. Yeah, right. 
rotate that. Obviously, the right rotation, but for me, it's just 270. Um, and you can make this as many sp as many lanes as you want. I'm just going to go with two. So put it at the edge of your marking, and then go for a length of four. That a bus is. I'm trying to think how big the C400 R is. I think the C400 R is the width of 2.5. So if I just go. I'm going to actually make my lens shorter in this one. It's not a busy junction, this. Well, it might be, but... I'm going to go 3.5, just so it lines up a bit better with that. And then, basically, I want... Um, road dog again, so the markings, and central line, norm, 100. So, anyway, I want to put them... I'm trying to think how junction is in real life. Yeah. Do you have the gap or? Alright, hang on. Let me just. So you might need to look at junctions in real life to um get some inspiration. <laughs> I spelled British wrong. I was put double T in it for some reason. No, no, that's just ridiculous, that's a train. I want a double... That is just horrendous, that. I can't believe that is actually... People get confused at a double mini roundabout. God help that. If you live near that, I don't know how you cope. Oh, for God's sake. Do you know it's just easy for just go on Google Maps? I just got to one near my house. Um. Obviously, I'm not going to write in where I live. I actually was going to at the minute, at uh, the first. Um, right, this one probably... Yeah, this is a junction now, but wasn't... If I look on satellite... Yeah, it's a roundabout there. It is now actually a really busy junction, but we'll go for this one here. I just wanted to see how they do... Oh, I need it where they go into a lane. Here. Here, here, here. How do they... So they just end it. Right, where they merge. Okay, right, I get it now. So... We'll go... Uh, we'll go... We need to basically get this out to another 3.2 so if I just press that do not point one that was the length of a marking and then do another 3.5 like that get the pavement with pedestrians on it doesn't work this if you do, don't use pedestrians mirror it so it's the right way around get that lined up with that and then basically just go complete to there from there. Oh, for God's sake. Right, OMSI does do this sometimes. And it is awkward when it does. Right, complete to there from there. Complete to... Oh, it'll do it that way, of course it will. It always does do it the wrong, the wrong way I don't want it to do. Complete to there from there. Right, so anyway, it won't work. Right, so go out on a, <coughs> pardon me, on a 5, a minus 5, no, it's too steep, a minus 7.5, and then try bringing it back. 
This bit is just trial and error here. 7.5. Right, so if I just do complete to there from there, there we go, right. So it, it, eventually, if you get it into a right place, it'll do it. That doesn't look very nice, I must admit, but it's just for an example, list, so I won't use this in real life. But So then I would go for a lane about 20. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Depends how busy the junction is. If it's not a very busy junction, you don't need a big lane, but if you've got quite a busy junction, then you might need a bigger lane. Um, 20 on that as well. There we go. And call it 40 on that for now. So, there you go. So, this is starting to plan now. Right, so you want your stop line in and your bite line. So, if I just go to Roadhog again, this might be a long video actually. Um, and I normally use a single line 200. You can use thicker, you can use not as thick. It's up to you. It's obviously your map, your junction. Well, that's just my preference. So I line it up with the edge, just like that, um, and take it over to the end of this. So if I do 40.5, that doesn't do anything, 45, that's not doing anything either. Why are you, oh it is doing something, it's, there's a gap in there. Oh, you're going to make my life hard. 40, right, so what you do if there's a gap, is I think there's actually a solution for this. You go to Roadhog. I've never used this before, so this is me learning. If I use Chevron line a thousand, there we go, and put that at the end of that like that. Then go on length of a one, not point five, point seven five, not point eight, ugh, not point seven nine, not point seven eight. Seven seven. Oh, that's because it added a load of stuff on the end. Not point seven seven. There you go. That's fine. You can use that, or you can just put. Um, do I like that? Yeah, that's fine. If you, if you can, you can play about with it. It's up to you. It's your uh, junction. So it's up to you. You can add. You can put a cycle like box on it. I know most junctions these days do have a cycle box but if you don't want one you don't have to have one because like I said it's your map it's your choice your decision there we go right so I'm then gonna go another and I'm gonna do my cycle boxes about I think it's normally do about 1.5 no 2 no 3 uh, yeah 3 that's right Um. then you'll go I add in the lane first. Eight. Rotate ninety. I'm I'm not expecting to get many views on this video because it's only people who need it they'll watch it. But three, four, too much. Three point eight. Point seven, yeah, it's seven, 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 eight. There we go. That's perfect. Right, I think Is that right? Yeah. So there's your cycle lane anyway. No, your cycle box. I'm not actually going to put a cycle lane down this road. I don't think it needs it, but it's up to you. I still have a cycle box. I put a cycle box at every junction. So then, what we're going to do then is we're going to go to Roadhog, but in in objects this time. Uh, we're gonna go. In fact, no. We want load directory. Roadhog. Um, markings, and just load all them. It might take. I mean, it might take a second, but it'll load them all eventually. Oh, it's done. Depends how fast your PC is. Um, they're they're Welsh. Unless you're making a Welsh map, I won't touch them. Um. So we want. Um. So you've got everything in here. Uh, cycle symbol right. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And put that as middle as you can get it, like that. There we go. So that symbolizes you've got a cycle lane, and then 
left and left no right turn only but you've got to just find them straight and left turn only arrow that's the one I want for this lane and right turn only in the other lane if I can ever find that right turn only arrow like that um, if you want to, you can copy the Y, I do believe. Yeah, the Y and get it in exactly the same level, so it looks a bit nicer. Uh, if you want lane destinations, then just go to lane destinations, single lane, I normally use, and it will appear as a big white blob, but then just put, say this side was going to... Um, I'll just put Wigan in that lane and then um, in this lane I'd maybe put like I don't know if that'll fit in a lane or not no it won't just put something easier Bolton just just so there we go right like that and then yeah you put your lane markings in and stuff um then what you want after that is you want your drop curbs for your crossing so load uh go to roadhog again yeah, don't ask why they're imx but in roadhog no idea um and then just go to IMX, add an IMX corner pieces and then drop curb low, drop curb crossing low and then rotate that by 270, no, by 180 and G and try and line it up as best you can. They are a bit awkward sometimes. Right. So, like that. Um, but you can, I just thought I'd point this one out, you can make junctions in Blender. I have no idea how you do that, so I'm not touching that, but this, I just don't want to sway me. Um, and then obviously you want one on the, si the same, the exact same place on the other side when we have done, when we're doing that side. It's actually looking really nice, this junction, I might actually keep this. Um, yeah, so we want then to bring the pavement obviously it's up to you what you do now basically it depends on where you're fitting it in and stuff but I'm just going to bring the pavement around um, rotate no mirror it just mirror it it's easier um, like that and I'm going to bring it round say I'm just going to do a 90 degree junction so I'm just going to bring it round on a 20 and 90 that might be too shallow actually yeah that's ridiculous for a junction 15 no call it 10 actually 90 is minus 10 and 90 yeah that's decent that's fine um so you don't actually have to you don't have to um I just realised something. This arrow is for straight on and left, so that's technically saying you can get to weaken straight on and left. I did that straight on and left. You might be able to, I don't know. I don't care. Um and then I want I'm gonna do this one with no lanes. This is just gonna be a, sh a, a normal road. Um and then I'm gonna go to objects and then cross in low again. Take 90 and G and get that to line up nicely just like that so this is going to be like a 6 meter road so with no lanes basically well it's going to have lanes but I mean it's no light turning lanes or anything it's just going to be a side street basically um, so we're still going to put some pavements in just so you could work with the junction a bit better. 
So ninety two seventy mirror. Because you might, because if it's a tight corner, you might want to bring, like, if buses are getting round, you might want to bring it out a bit, the bus. So you might want to put the stop line about there ish, so it's a bit further back. Um, I'm going to go 15, and then I'm going to put a 6 metre pavement, a uh, 6 metre street in. Um, it just takes some. Um, playing around basically. I'm gonna put a a feud in. No, I want the time at one but I forgot what they're called. I met the alterna. Six metre alterna. There's no alterna. Is it them ones? No, definitely not. Load IMX. It's just like playing around basically, you'll get there in the end. Um, try. That one. Right, I'll just go for this one because I can't. It's there somewhere, just use what you want, that you want anyway. Alright, so you, sometimes you can get it to line up, but other times you can't. So this one you couldn't, but it's fine. Um, yeah. So we're gonna put obviously a pavement on the other side. That's not a pavement. Rotate ninety mirror and G and control. Right, this this doesn't actually line up with this pavement, which is slightly annoying. But it's fine. Um, and then put 15 like I did on the other side. And another crossing. 270. Like that. I think I've actually made that too long, but I don't care. Um, and then we're going to go into a s spleen, spline, and do you know, the amount of comments I get, and I know it's not just me as a YouTuber who gets this, there's, a l there's other people as well who get these comments saying, it's not a spleen, it's a spline, a spleen is something in your body. I don't care. I'm not really interested, to be honest. Um. Anyway, do a... A... If it's positive, it goes that way. A negative 10 again. That's a delete. Mirror. 270. 90. I can never get my angles right. And a positive 10. No, a minus 10. And a 90. But say you don't actually want this to go straight. You could do... In fact, let's try this. You can go 70. Yeah, and do a, a negative 15. No, an, a negative 8. And go 70. So it's a bit different. And then go off. This is just making it more awkward for me, I've just realised. Go off, say, on a, a 20 there. And then it could be like going around the corner. It's your junction. I, I'm going to do this actually. Um, but anyway, we want. I'm going to try and get this to line up on this side now. So we want the pavement again. I'm going to touch it in there. And then we want to get it to just past this line. Um, so a. 40, too fast, 35, 34, right, let's just, right, remember that's 8, let's go with 13, 33.8, 
33.9 33.85 there we go that's perfect and put that back to an 8 like that right and then we want the crossing again and a lot of your time we'll just be planning this junction out in Omsley because how long have we been going for now we've been going for 35 minutes and we've only got that well, it doesn't feel like 35 minutes. Um, we're not actually going to go for a crossroad today. We're just going to go... Oh, no, we are going to go for a crossroad because we've planned that out with the lanes, haven't we? Right, so we're going to go spleens, uh, not a single line, and low one side pedestrian. Basically, low means that it's tarmac, the pavements. Um, one side meaning the curbs on one side and pedestrian meaning it comes with a pedestrian path. That's basically what everything means there. Right. And then we're going to go for a... In fact, we're going to go for eight. And bring that round on a 140. Like that. Because like I said, you don't need it to be straight. It can go wherever it wants, really. Mirror. No, not mirror. Take that off mirror. And then go zero and make it go off down there and then put a a we'll do an eight sick over here. Rotate hundred and eighty. Take oh this is I've just messed myself up now. So that's sort of five hundred. I'll right, we'll bring it round this way like that. and like that so this one oh that's the wrong one um if you click show spleen path it shows you oh hang on right so we're not going to do we're not going to do lanes on this one either I'm just gonna bring it round like this. Um, yeah, I'm like, I actually quite like this junction. I might keep it. Um, so we're gonna then do one side pedestrian, and then we're gonna go 15. Is that 20? 19.54. 19.54. That should get it to the same. I've not put a crossing here so we will delete that actually delete that then we'll do objects crossing low attach the screen will you attach and be not very awkward right, sometimes you can get it to attach so it'll line it up for you but it's awkward to get it to work then there you go. I just got it to work there so that's fine and then spleens, pavement, um, like that, and then do fifteen, no, fourteen, no, fourteen point five. This is actually out slightly, which is a bit annoying. And it's alright, we can just do this. Hold, press R and rotate it so it lines up. 14.4 no 14.4 like that we'll go with that that means it is slightly going that way but it's not nothing it's nothing to notice about right 14.4 and then we want and objects crossing low and you attach just so it's less effort for me right 
Um, and then we're actually gonna go up here, obviously now. And we're gonna go crossing. No, we're gonna go. Try to think what width. I want it to be a bit bigger than eight, but not too big. What have you? Oh, for God's sake! Sorry about that. Um. Then we're gonna go for. A go for a ten meter. Are you gonna be a dual carriageway? No, you're not. We're just gonna have a really big pavement. I don't want really big pavements. Then it doesn't line up. Look at that. It's just ridiculous. Right, we're just gonna go with an eight actually, just because. And it's less fast, isn't it? I've not got a crossing on this one either. You're gonna have to actually come out longer, aren't you? Alright, we'll put we'll go twenty five, then we'll go objects, crossing low, attach to spleen, see so whether it'll work. Rotate one eighty. No you're not. Oh, God's sake. Um, right, that's not going to work anyway. So this is when you have to actually rotate it yourself. So if that's 180, try 200. Yeah, that's perfect. Just try the improvement, basically. No, because that's maths. Um, oh, I don't know. Don't care either. Um. We're gonna do this one with turning lanes, so we want spleens. We want a stop line. Where's that gone? Where the hell is single line two hundred? Yeah. Um, I was looking for stop line. That's why. Um, rotate ninety. A hundred, hundred and ten. Is that online? Yeah, that looks about right. Um, and get that just about the like that. We then want that. This can be a helper. We then want that to go across. We'll go for four. Oh, and then I'll delete it, obviously. One, one, no, one, one, zero. And the good thing about the helpers is they don't show up in the actual game. Right. Four. Um, and then we're going to go for a a chevron line a thousand. Um, I think that I use over the yes, it is. So we're going to go with that. Again, um, and then we're gonna go is the cycle lane the exact same size. So, what size would you do that? 3.78, and a rotation on that of about 20, maybe. Oh, god, I know what I've just done. Zero. Do you still line up? Yep. Twenty. Perfect. 
bring that to you and then do 3.78 and then after that do the chevrons how big do I do them for? 40 I'm going to actually line them up myself. 20 and 40. Like that. Right. Like that, right. So then we will do... It's leans and then we want single line 200. Rotate, what did I do that on 110? Just put that on there like that. And then we want the length, we want a helper. Rotate 20, then do the width of that 3, that's delete, I keep doing that, 20 and 3, like that, and then do single line, take 110, and do like that and yeah I'm going to put a cycle lane down this road as well just because I feel like in fact no I'm not um, and then do pavements Do 20. And do the length of that. 10.1. Hang on a minute. No, that's not. That's about three lanes, isn't it? That's not right. Um, another helper. Rotate 110, then we're doing, oh god, no, then we're doing G, and then how big did we do the lanes over it? Oh god, how big did we do the lanes over here? 3.5, right, so. 3.5 and we want a single line, a centre line norm and rotate of 20 and G. I just realise they are not actually straight. I don't think. No, actually, it is straight. Never mind. Um, and then go thirty. Well, that, that lane does look like it's getting smaller. No, it doesn't. Oh, I don't know. And then we're gonna go for that on that side. And then we're gonna go that one. 20, actually no that's just, this is just going to be the pavement here. Like that. Um, then go about 30. 
and then right, bring it off this side and then you can line up the yeah that's a good idea 20 mirror then go 40 and then do an 8 like that see that looks like it's closer to that side than it is that side and that's simply because that's a 4 isn't it and not a 3.5 Right, hang on, I'm gonna bring this down to 35, 30 even. Rotate that on 20 and put that just like that. Oh god. And then will it come? It won't. Ugh, um. If I do N, do a length of about 5, and do minus 40, and, and then do 40, oh, it's just slightly out. Um, slightly, slightly out. Um, if I do 39 and 39 up here 35 and thir minus 35 minus 45 there we go, that's fine And then just go split the and delete that bit and then it's and then it lines up perfectly. There we go. Actually that could do with the back a bit to about about there ish. Can get it lined up. There we go, right. Um and then do complete to the from there. No do that's not a pavement rotate or oh, what are you on a rotate um 300 try no 60 that's the one eight try 200 perfect i could have done that to be honest like that and then do Minus five and seventy, no, fifty. Complete to there and there, there we go. Split like that and press like that. And there we go, that's that bit done. I then want so we've neatly planned out the junction now in in Omsi. Rotate twenty. Like that. And then I'm trying to work out how I can do this now. That's not right, and then go Um, two hundred mirror. Put that on there, and then do about five mirror. Then let's just hope this will work. Oh, I've not got a. What rotate are you? 319 
like that and then do complete to the from the and there we go that's that bit of the junction done right so we have currently planned everything no we've not we've not put the stop lines and stuff in over here never mind see there's a lot of stuff you can you do before you um can even think about um what's it called or you can even think about doing anything in SDK 50 oh that's perfect I'm going to put that just there this isn't actually going to have a um, so this is a 3 this isn't going to have a cycle lane I don't think and then put the end skew of 1 this is just a way to get it perfect. Minus one. And then mirror. And then put it as a single line. No, no, no that doesn't fit, does it? In fact, just put zero. Delete that. And then do. <coughs> What's you? Minus 39. Th minus 39. No, um. I do plus 39, will that be right? No. So zero is there. So get it round to there about 130. Oh, 140. Um, yep. Yeah. I was. I got it neat. I nearly got it right. And then go on about a 20. 30 will do. And <coughs> that's not going to have a cycle in. And if that's coming round, it might need to swing out. So I'm going to do the stop line. One eighty four. And do the stop line. In fact, another for the three. That's twenty three. That's two three. Do the stop line about there ish. I'm just thinking in case the bus has to swing round. The central line norm. Do minus 90. And do a length about 20. Like that. There we go. Um, we then want we then want twenty no so if it's off at a twenty it should be two hundred yeah um cycle box and then Take two hundred and two hundred. I'm not going to put any names on this one because I, I can't be bothered to be perfectly honest. Um, on this one, I'm going to put. Is there a straight, straight right turn on the like street? You don't put any arrow if you can go anywhere, you can't, don't you? Do you not? If you can go anywhere, you don't put... I would have thought you would have. Left turn and right turn on the arrow, no. Left turn, right turn, straight on arrow. No, I don't think you can have that. Um, same for that one. Studs, I want. So I need to search. S-T-U-D-S. Right, crossing studs right, and these just go to add a bit of detail rotate 90 and I normally put it from where it drops and across to 
and put it on about 12. There we go, perfect. And obviously they'll be floating right now, but when we get thing, when we get concrete in, not concrete. Um, what's the term? Uh, I can't think what it. Tarback. It won't be. Try to get it so they're about equal, but it's difficult. Right, anyway, you've got studs there. Got studs over here. And I think I said 50 on this one. Yeah. There we go. I can't believe how long have we been going for now? An hour. And I've only just and I'm still doing the junction, I'm not even going to SDK yet. That's fine like that. And same for that one. I don't mind if they come out a bit. I'm not really bothered. 110. And do about 14. Yeah, that's fine. And do 110. And a length of 14. That's 12, 14. And that's in the perfect place. So we've got all the studs in. Alright. Let's get... Right, there's two ways you can actually... You can either paint it. Which I'm going to do because it is quicker. If it's a big junction, I normally paint it. Right, but I can never remember how you do it. So you'll create new layer. Main texture. No. Tarmac. Detail texture. That one. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Right. In fact, do you know what we're going to do? We're just going to use spleens. Why are you out? I am XLH, and then we're going to go down to the bottom, and we're going to do treatment tarmac. Five meters. Right, and then we're going to go hundred. No, ninety. Eighty-five. Just basically cover the whole thing, and then it'll look a bit, it'll look a bit less rubbish. Um, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Okay, it doesn't matter if it comes out of it. It's fine. A hundred. I need you to go out a bit. 95. There we go. 110. There we go. And basically just cover... Cover the whole thing. Call it 100. No. 50. No. 70. We'll go with that. Ninety. Seventy. Like that. And you get the idea, don't you? Just cover the whole thing up and then it'll look a lot nicer. Right. So then what you want to do then is get an industry. This is where the fun begins right now. So you need to get it so it all works basically 
don't make the junction with Inver Streets, you plan it out with Inver Streets. So you do 30, and that's fine there. And you do N. If you want to, you can raise it up, because these are only just plans, just so you can see them over the tarmac. 0.5. There we go. Right. And then 10. That's too tight. 30. Too shallow. Right. What you can do, if you load Invis Street Invert, that one, then we put it in there. That's still going, that should still be going the same way. Yeah, it is. Just so you can get it. Right. Complete to there. And there. That's right. If it clips the pavement, don't use it. Do 30 and then do 0 0.5 and do N and do the length of 1, do, do the length of 1 and do N and do the length of 1 just because I don't want it to edit that cur that straight line basically. There we go. And that will go in there like that. Right. Um, so that's that lane done. Right, so we then want to press control again. Um, and put in 0 0.5. So it's all the same height. And I, I'm going to say what the easiest thing to do here is do minus 5, minus 10, minus 15, minus 20 and do N and put in here Z not 0.5 and do the length of 10 20 no too far 15 17 17 is perfect and do complete to the and the oh god Minus 20, I mean 20, not length of 1, why won't you do, there we go, right, that won't now. So we want, first of all, we want you going straight across like that, and then do, if I do in this street invert again, do that like that, and do 40, chop that off there, put that on Z not 0.5, no that's not 0.05, 0 0.5, 0 .5, and then do a complete to there and there, like that. And that's a good start, right. So we then want to do, then want to do in SDK this will be less of a faff this bit now. 0.5 So where does it break? <coughs> My voice just broke. I think it's about there-ish. Yeah, right. And then bring another N <coughs> and then do and then just do another in that's an industry invert, isn't it? Uh, you want in this street and you want to be in this street and then do in this street invert like that and do the length of 20 and then a complete to there from there like that there you go so it's starting to come together now it is a complicated junction I must admit for a beginner's tutorial, tutorial even, this is a very complicated junction. Alright, so we've got that going everywhere now. So we want this, we want the this one to go everywhere. In this street. Like that. And we want 
0.5 and then we've got to go 20 in fact no we want to go 10 because it's got to stop at the stop line 8 9 and then do 9 11 after the stop line and that will get you to the same place can you complete to, you complete to there complete to the going that way to the there we go Right, so that gun goes that way. This needs to go point five. This needs to go I don't know where it breaks. It breaks there I think. And it needs to be length eighty. Two seventy, ninety. Yeah, they're in NT. There we go. Then can we complete that there to the? Oh, it's gone the wrong way. Brilliant, fantastic. Ninety. Not point five. And then do complete to going that way. And that one. Oh, God's sake. Right, minus 30. 30. Minus 20. Minus 50. No. Minus 50. And a length of 20. Right, complete to in that way. Oh, for God's sake. Right, and then 50. No, 20. No, 10. Five, oh. Delete. 25. You can do that turn. Oh, I've done it again. length of 20 not too 20 and minus 30 that's 20 30 and 10 15 um we'll just try it without that bit go that way the entry is no oh I've done it the wrong way you absolute thicko that should still work right and then do 30 20 10 12 try that so then that way, right there we go, so that, these people can now go that way and that way, we need to get them to that way as well. Right, what can you, is there anything you can, yeah you can complete to from there, and do that, do a length of 40, and then one and complete to there from there. I don't know what that means. German. Um right, 
do 90 and then do point 0.5 I have actually chosen the most confusing junction ever for the, for the tutorial just realised Right, so that now can go everywhere. So, yeah, right. <laughs> we'll get there in end. How long have we been going for? An hour and a quarter now. Right. Right, do 40, no, 30, 20, yeah. No, we need 18, no. 15, 15, 14, and then go from there. Right. Complete to. No, actually. Complete to go in, in that direction. Come on. I add it then. There. Complete to there. Yeah, I'm not going to do that either. Is there anything I can do over here? Yep, that one to that one. There we go. Right, there's one. Right. And then I did 14 and N. The... I want it Spoons. complete to the is that right? Yeah. That then goes up to the No, it's clipping the corner. It is clipping the corner and I don't want that. Delete. And then do one. Complete to the and the. Oh, God's sake. Minus fifteen. Minus thirty. Minus. Oh, hang on. Right, go at zero. Length ten. And then minus ten. Complete to the right. Complete to the and the. How can you not do that, Omzi? You're so thick, it is unbelievable. Right. Complete to the. Complete to the and the. I don't understand Omzi sometimes. It's so I've just deleted. Complete to the no, there we go. Right, that worked. Now all I need to do is do thirty. Complete to the no, no. Right, minus forty. That no, you need to do eighteen, no fourteen, fourteen, zero, then minus fourteen, oh, minus fifteen. We'll go for complete two. The the ah. Oh. Sometimes Omzi does wind me up. Yes. 15, 14, 12, and a length of 5.
ten. Five. Oh, there we go, right. So this is fun, I can already tell. <laughs> right, and then so I need to do this side now. So this one's gonna be a bit harder actually because of the way I've built this. I've not been doing that the whole thing with industry. Oh, for God's sake. It's fine, I can work with it. So are you going the right way? That's the wrong thing again. Yeah. Right, complete to there, there. There we go. It might clip through there a little bit, but. Do you know. And then do five and complete to the and the. Oh god, that's gone weird. That's gone incredibly weird. There you go, that's fine. Right. Anyway, I want this. Come up, 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 and then whatever it'll connect to going that way. And then put like that. Me. I then want to go this and one and then do complete two. If it'll work a bit, I'll just go to that one, but it won't. We'll go to that one. Ugh. This is going to be more awkward, this one. 10, minus 10, minus 15, minus 20, minus 30. And then you're going to have to bring it around tight then. Minus 10. Will it work now? There we go, right. Well, it's a kink, but I don't care. Um, N there you go and do complete to up the going the right way that is that way down to there there you go and that is the junction planned out in Omsi right now it's the hard bit well, it depends on your conduct, to be honest, but this is slightly the heart of it now. So I'm, I'm going to start off with this side, I think. Right, so what we do now is we load SDK. On the two, SDK, and load on the object edit P, and click load. Go to your junctions folder, my map, map name junction, rename this, I'll just call it tutorial, oh no this is template actually, I can't, template, open that up. Right. So to v to zoom in, you've got to go into view and then scroll this up. Oh, I don't have it about there. Right. So 
I'm going to start with this turning right one and once you do it, delete it ok, so we're going to go forward 30 ok so you click create new path and then you type in length 30 right, actually I'm going to zoom out a bit more right, after that don't delete it yet. After that, you're going to go 30 again. Create a new path and it'll go 30. And then it'll go round and then copy the radius. Create new radius. Now remember, radius is the is not at the bottom like it is in on the zone. And then copy the angle. And that should then give you the right length like that and then put that bit in which is that length create new remember get rid of the radius and put that in and then put and then put in fact we can delete that now because no we, we need that which is just a length of one and that is just a length of one and then do that which is a length of 30 new, and that will be a length of 30 like that so now you can go into OMSI and leaving in some bits because we need them for other it is a bit of a faff on the first view to see what you're doing and then delete that like that and that can go and that can go just realised how does that oh, I've just deleted that aren't I? A brilliant brill e ant complete to the minus 10 10 12 you're not going the right way then come on. go the right way Arr. so awkward sometimes oh, oh there and there there we go right so that's obviously freed a lot of the area up. <laughs> right, so we're gonna we're gonna turn right now. At left even. So at minus twenty and twenty eight degrees. So click Right, well you need, this bit's a bit more complicated. You need to create a new one, then put it up here where it's a start position, change that to zero and the length to 10 and then angle of that and minus 20 um, then that length create new no radius and that length and then radius of that and angle of that there we go and then create new of 17 is that actually, is it just 17 yeah right and this is where it gets a bit easier compared to OMS, you know. We can just delete this now. Just to free up a bit of space. Right, so. We're going to go. Right, so because we're turning left, we want the shot one of 10. I'm going to create new and put 10. We then want to turn right. 
with that radius and that angle I just thought I probably should have saved it first after deleting do that save it before you start deleting right and delete them too right that then came round oh and I've also made another mistake now I shouldn't have deleted them too oh god right that's for that that is for that so this bit is for that as well right and then we want to create that with that that can then go and then we want a 20 create new length of 20 that's no 20 like that <laughs> right so then you can just click on that and create new you don't have to then start again basically like on the so we want another length of 17 which is what that is and then another length of 17 and then a and then this one which is minus 24 like that eh? why are you going the wrong way? oh because you're an invis right if it's a if it's an invis street uh, an invis street invert in, in OMSI you'll have to do it the right other way around you have to get rid of the minus basically and then it should work basically and then just a 40 hang on a sec yeah that's right no it's not a 40 it's 58 point whatever right so we've got it coming from that side now Every, you can go everywhere on that side right so we'll then go to we'll then go to this side over here. So basically what you need to do here is this is a six meter. So you're gonna have a three gap in between. So you're gonna turn that around to to you're gonna turn it to ninety. And then if it's Y, it should be to 45. And that should be right where it is in the Nomsi. Because if you turn on true width of path, they're like practically next to each other, which is what they are in Nomsi. Turn that off though, because it scares me. Um, right, you can use um, complete too. It is a faff though, I just don't use it. It's a pain. Why can't I click on that? It won't let me... Wait, what? Can you... Right, okay, this is... I keep doing that. Arr. See, I need to... <laughs> Today would be nice. It'll let me click on everything else but that one. I need to know what length that is. Right, I think it's 14. 14. Right, and then go... So if we're going... We'll go this way first. Is that for that one? It's really hard to tell. <laughs> create a new one there we go and then t 
tell me if you think I'm any good at these tutorials, because I think I'm doing rubbish, but... Radius. And then if it might lines up with one of these dots on here... It should... No. Uh, that's not... No. That is definitely... Oh, wait, I know why. Because I've done, I've not created a new one ever. I need to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, and then create new, and then do. and that angle as well uh oh so then if, if the angle ever disappears or anything ever disappears just click off it and then click back on it right, that's not right still Eh? I am so confused right now. I have put that angle in. Right, do you know what? We're going to go for a straight one. We're going to go length of about 3. Four, no, not 14. Just 4. And we're going to do complete 2. And if you go right down, oh, why have I done that? Because it never works. <laughs> Complete two. Why do you go the opposite way? I never understood. So if I did that. No, it goes to that one. <laughs> no, I need that complete to. Why'd you go the opposite way? This is one thing I have never got about SDK. The complete to function is rubbish. I, c I can get it to work but it doesn't look very nice I'd rather have it nice sweeping curve like it's supposed to be but it's not working I know why it's because that's an inverse straight I've got it now See, why does it do that? It just doesn't make sense. Length of 10. Right, complete to the... Why do you go that way? It just doesn't... Right, I'm just going to have to try and line some of it up in here because it doesn't... Minus 10. Length of 20. 18. Ah! 18. 16. And 12. Create new. Sometimes you have got to line it up yourself because it doesn't want to work see why has it done that it doesn't make any sense whatsoever It 
just goes the opposite way to what you want it to go and it's just stupid. Hang on actually. If I just do create new length of one, length of five, length of seven, length of six, length of six point five. Perfect. Right, that's one done. Like I said, it is a bit of a faff. Right, and then we want to get it up to there now. See, the thing is, I can just do it in here. It's fine, I can do it in here and then just edit it in the game, but, you know. Once you've got all the basic ones in, you can do it in here. So I'm just going to do that. Um, minus 50. And the length of 50, well that's two, 20, no not 520, just 20, and minus 30, create new, <laughs> that's if I just get it to the, Minus eighteen. Um, and then do length of one, two, three, three, four. No, not thirty-four. Four, five. Oh, it's not gonna line up, is it? If I do eight. How do you complete to the? Oh, there we go. It'll do it. Oh, no, it didn't do it. Complete to. No, it doesn't. Do you not see like a root or something? See, it just goes the wrong way round. Complete to. Uh, it just goes the wrong way around and that's the problem. Um, 30 minus 20 20 and create new and just go 10 13 13 12 Complete to the no. Complete to the then. Just complete to. <laughs> All right, hang on. Let me zoom in a bit. <laughs> complete. Create new path. And and then do like two and do the length of one do ten create new complete two one sorry then Delete, delete, complete two. So, needs to go out a bit wider so if I do a radius of 12.1 the 
then do a length of one, length of three, length of two, that looks right, and then zero, yep, and then one, not point one, point one, point five, three, there we go. I got there in the end view. See now, so that now can go that way and that way. And then want to get this side over to that. What would be the so I'll have to use. Omsi for this one. Alright, so you go on a minus 15 and that angle. Hang on a sec. go 14 from here and then you do do 14 from there and then you do minus 15 and then that Minus 15 and that angle. <laughs> well, that's not right, is it? Minus 15 and that angle. What length? 14. Well, that isn't right. I don't think that's right. Go. Um. Basically go 30, I'm going to say, no, 15, 15, and 90, no, 13, 90, and then create new, and then just get it to about 25. 30, no, not two, th 30, 35, no, 35, no, 33, 32, yep, yeah, right. And right weren't working. Because I've been using the wrong one. I've been doing... Oh, for God's sake. Wait. Yeah, I've been using that one and not this one. That one is a 14 and a 90 as well. <laughs> I thought when I looked at it, I thought, that's not right, that. Right, so in SDK, this road over here can now get that way, that way, or that way. Right, okay. We're going to do this road. We're going to do... Should we do this road? Right, okay. How long have we been going for now? 
nearly two hours. Wow, this is more of a stream. Um, right. So how do I? So we're now on this road. So I need to get to that one. So if that's eight meters, that's eight meters. I want to go four across. So rotate that round to fifty. No. How do I? Um. Call it zero. Three hundred. No. Three twenty. Twenty. There we go. And if it's thirty-four, go thirty. Oh, this is just hard. And drop four on that one as well. Safe. <laughs> um, that looks about right, actually. E have a look at the put view. No, that's too far across. It's so difficult this. Who would have thought making a junction with that many people, that's why I have to do this. Um thirty six seven Three, uh, how can I get that up there a bit more? Um, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, five. Oh, I can live with that actually, and then get it to. Call it ten. No, fifteen. No, not. And then go. Create new. Create new. Let's see whether it'll complete to. No. Sorry about all the noise. It's just some people in my house are quite rude. And thirty, sixty, fifty, not six fifty, ninety, eighty. Ah, oh. um. Radius length twenty, radius minus eighty, minus a hundred. That's too shallow. Minus ninety. That's still too tight, actually. One hundred twenty. One hundred thirty. Hundred and forty. Create new zero one. It needs to go a little bit. Hundred and forty five. Hundred 
Um, and then we'll go create new minus fifteen. And then if I do six, and 93 and then complete to will you just do it no why would you because you're omzi well you're not omzi actually but you're just as annoying as omzi Oh, you can't do that, can you? Let's forget. Um, create new minus fifteen. And that, and then do ten fifty. Sixty. Oh, Isabel, shut up. I'm recording. Um, seventy. Hundred. Bye bye. bye. See you in a bit. Bye. Five. Try six on its own. No, five point five and bring it round to ninety five. Create new. Try ten. And you just do it for just for once. I think it did it. <laughs> yeah, you you'll probably do a lot better job than this, but I'm just rushing it because I, I wanna get onto tra the traffic light. Right. Obviously, I'm not going to finish this right now because I can't be bothered. I've been going for like two hours. Well, nearly two hours. But what I'll do is I'll show you now how to put traffic lights on it. Right, so basically, I'm not going to bother with humans or anything like that. I'll do it in my own time. But what I would do is I would do it like this. So you'll have a traffic light there. You'll have a traffic light for turning. Um, you'll have a traffic light turning left and right, uh, left and straight on, and then one for right. And same over here. So you need one, two, three, four, five, six lights, and then a hu and then the humans one. So. Bye. Bye. So we're going to start with the straight on and left. In fact, no, what what can happen is the straight on and left can go from this side as well, can't they? Because it can be on 
at either side because well, you're only going straight on a left, aren't you? You can't turn right. So we need actually no, we're gonna split it. Oh, I don't know. Um straight on all that. Right, I'd normally call it sink one. Yeah. So I'm gonna put these on for fifty seconds. Yeah. The current period I'm just gonna put it for about three hundred for now, just so I can get enough room. Um sink one will be on for fifty seconds. It will be green. Um That is, um, it will be green, no, green, and then it will go yellow for three seconds, yep, yeah, and then red. Right, so that's that for now. Um, the second sink. Sink two will be on for thirty seconds, and and this needs to move because it needs to be there. So if I do about fifty, fifty three. Yeah, there we go. Right. Okay. So then, you will click new, and this new one will be called sync three. Now this will be, hang on, that needs to be red, and then it needs to be yeah red to green yeah what am I going on about um that will be turning right the lights are turning right sync three will be the lights turning right on the other side so if you go to about so that was 55, no, 53, plus 30, did we say? 30, 53 plus 30 is 83. 83 seconds of, 83 seconds of red no 80 seconds of red no 83 seconds of red I got it right yeah no it's not oh I don't know because hang on this needs to be doof doof that needs to be 3 seconds of green to red and then back to red, yeah. <laughs> Same on number one. That can just be deleted, that area. Right. If it says, do you really want to delete the an actual traffic light phase, click yes, as long as it's the one you want to delete, obviously. Um, eight, try it to six seconds. 89 seconds then, there we go. And then we want three seconds. three seconds of red to green then we'll do another 30 on green on green then another three seconds on green to red 
and then back to red like that right after that so we've got straight on and then we've got right uh, straight on and left straight on and left red coming uh, red red but turning right from this side red and turning right from that side then we want a new one again and this will be sync 4 sync 4 do I change? ok don't change them that's fine new, oh, there we go so call it just for now put 100 seconds in of red and then need more than that 120 seconds 126 seconds, uh, 125 seconds then, and then you want new, that'll be 3 seconds of red to green, then we'll say 30 seconds on this one as well of green, and then another 3 seconds of green to red, for 3 seconds, and then that's that bit done. Um, sync 5 will be the other road. Sync 5. And that will be, call it 150 seconds. 150. No, 175. That's too much. 165, 160. No, that's 16. 160, 162, 161. Yeah, plus three seconds of green, to red to green. So three seconds of that. Then 30 seconds of green. 30 seconds and then new 3 seconds of green to red yeah and then now I just want pedestrians um, and this will be sync 6 and call it 200 seconds, I don't know, I just pass it, call it 190, 197, oh, perfect, 197 of that, then green to red, for 3 seconds, then for 30 seconds again, green then for three seconds green to red Is that right that one that one and that will be 30. There we go. So how much spur do you think we've got? That comes to call it two fifty for a second. Two two five. No, two thirty. No, 240. Bit too much. Right, we'll go with that anyway. Um, so basically, this can come into a traffic light tutorial as well. I know I've not finished. Um, I know I've not finished the um, the actual junction. 
Right, I'm just going to do, I'm just going to load in the new map without anything on. So basically, you'd see it. Oh, it's gone broke. It's broken. <laughs> I'll load it in on words and then. So obviously it won't have any of the, the um, pavements or anything, but what's happened? Sorry about the horse in the background. There's nothing I can do about it because it's annoying. I, I'm just trying to work out what's gone wrong here. Because the fact that everything's gone to part. worries me it does it worries me um it's a change into something I know works oh uh, I know you used to it will try and load scum thought Why did I pick a small? Why didn't I pick a smaller map? Like Cottrell or something. Come on. I'm not going to put an intro on this one because it'll take too long to edit and upload so it's not going to have an intro on this one so I'm sorry about that you'll obviously already know that but I, I can't put an intro on it because I'm going somewhere today and I've got to I've got to upload this and edit this no it's not going to happen a two hour video so I've got to sorry but there's no intro on this one not going to happen where I'm going does not have Wi-Fi. So I couldn't upload it there. It takes forever to do a 40-minute video and then a two-hour one. I should have streamed it, to be honest. <laughs> See, it just uploads automatically then. Yeah, that would be a good idea. But I didn't do it. <sighs> would have been better. That would have been better. In fact, is it still recording? Yeah. Thank God. Sometimes it runs out of space, but thank God it's not this time. Uh, can you load onto two, please? God's sake. Don't tell me it's crashed. We do this and I'm going to this. There we go. Right, there we go. Right, anyway. Load in um Yeah, that's planes, I want objects. 
load in my map and template. Right, it's loading it's because it's a big map, it takes a bit longer to load the object in. <laughs> Come on. Don't tell me this one junction has crashed my game. Because that is not okay. There we go. Right, I'll just pop it there. Right. And then let it let it not let it not respond again. Oh come on. Right, and then we'll click show screen half and there you go. It is there, it's just not obviously in the bit what I wanted it to do originally. Right, so basically then you'd put you'd spawn in a traffic light which is I don't know where because he's not used the road hog on him might have actually I'm gone. Road object traffic lights. No oh yes, I didn't think he'd use the road hog traffic light. Oh come on! It's an annoying thing. I don't know where that's gone. It's there. Where's the junction gone? It worked. Oh. Right, anyway. I'd, I'd, I'll do a separate video on how to add in traffic lights. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.